Hi everyone. So in this session, we will see an overview of ADS tool. Okay, so there are schematic view as well as the layout as well, how to create a layout of any of your circuit design. Okay, so first we'll see about schematic, how to create a schematic and what's all available, mainly the main things which are available in schematic, like what are the options available that we will see. So once you open the key site ADS, then go to this new schematic window, enter any name. So I'll name it as interface, suppose, and press enter. Now, once you uh, press enter, your schematic will be open. Okay. So first I'll take you to the options, which are, or you can say the menus, which are available in this libraries. So as you can see here, the present is showcasing as simulation is parameter. So if you want to simulate the S parameter, just simply you have to click on this first option that is S parameter simulation SP. Okay. If you want to set up some sweep plan and all, then you have to use this option and the necessary things, suppose in case of power dividers and all the time you have to show, show the results, or you can say you have to analyze the results at input port as well as the output port. Then you have to use this term G or this term that is nothing but your termination yeah. impedance port impedance termination okay which is necessary for your evaluation of your s parameters okay like this you have to take and another thing important thing is that your basic components so under the basic components library we are having resistor inductor capacitor amplifier op amps are there that is operational amplifier we are having and then if you want to perform some kind of a dc or ac analysis or transient analysis then you have to set up this dc simulation or transient simulation as well as ac simulation okay another thing is the t-line micro strip uh, one thing i like to add here like already i've used this uh, so many times so, so that's why it is showcasing as a palette in the recently used palettes okay so in the case of TL, T lines, that is nothing but your transmission line microstrip. So in case if you want to design a RF circuit or in case of power divider, then you need to design on that uh, substrate, correct? So for that substrate, what is the uh, specification and all? Then you have to use this M sub, okay? And you have to give the specification around that, okay? So in the coming sessions, we will see how you will design in the schematic, okay? So in that session in those sessions you will come to know okay so as of now i'll delete this further what kind of line you want to design like it is m line or m curve like that you can place it in that m curve or m curve 2 m curve is nothing but there are two types it is metered one and it is curve one so there is no uh, cut actually or you can say a truncated type Okay, similarly, M line that is simple micro step line having some width and length according to your impedance. Okay, so another important thing is that MT that is magic T. So, in case of your uh, undergrad times, you have heard about that magic T. Okay, in which we are having some three ports around. Okay, so like that, you have to use that MT. So this also is very, very useful, you can say, especially in case of your power divider designing, in case of your Wigginson power divider. Okay, so once uh, we will design the layout in Wigginson power divider, that time you will come to know the use of it. Okay, so these are some major only I will talk about because it will take too much time and uh, as soon as you will also practice in this tool, that time you will come to know the meaning or the use of each and every options or you can say the operations now let's see some more options uh, in the menu so as you can see here i am having one menu over, over under the file menu options so uh, we are having new file means new schematic if you want to design some existing schematic means in your system already some schematic is designed so that you can open it in the ads schematic window if you have to save that so these are some general options only so you can use that this is an option in which suppose you have designed full circuit and you have to see that full circuit in your exact workspace area then you can use that suppose i entered this one 
and I click this. So it will zoom in, you can say, or it can fit your design in between your workspace area. Okay, like that, you can use that. Okay, another important thing is that uh, zoom in, zoom out. Already you can do with the help of your scroll option, scroller of your mouse. And similarly, this is the pin actually. So these are the pin which is required in case of your uh, ports P1 and P2 like that. This is nothing but your ground. So in case of your uh, designing, suppose plus minus terminal is there. So our minus terminal will be nothing but your ground. Okay, so that you can define it with the help of insert ground. Then we are having where nothing but your variable. Suppose you have to design some variable and variable will be depending upon your some equations. Okay, so that time you can use some where option. Another important thing is the insert wire. Now insert wire means different components are there, number of components like a resistor, inductor, capacitor available and you have to make the connections. Now in order to make a connection then you have to move, use this wire option. Okay, another is rotating this uh, component you can just simply click on uh, go for a shortcut key that is control plus r as well now the next is push into hierarchy edit hierarchy edit now uh, i'll try to explain it in a verbal manner but later on also we can see that what you have to do suppose you have designed some circuit either it is a power divider circuit schematic or either it is lpf that is low pass filter any circuit and you have to uh, and you have made it in a symbol way okay that whole circuit is in the symbolized way and once you will click on symbol that entire circuit will be in front of you so that process suppose i am i'm having a symbol which is relating as uh, suppose uh, power divider or you can say the low pass filter so i'm having a block which is saying as low pass filter okay now in order to see the entire circuit so you have to use that option that is push into hierarchy okay and if you have to come outside again to to that block only block level then you have to use this pop out okay now if you want to activate or deactivate some of your components in the circuit then you can use this option these two options are used mainly i'll go for deactivate or activate components only because it will help me because irrelevant if i'll create number of schematics in a for single single circuit you can say so what i can do in respect of uh, in one semantic only what i'll do i'll create some uh, circuit and after the simulation if i found it satisfactory it is good and if i want to design some more circuit based on the same concept so what i can do i'll select all the components or you can say whole circuit and then i just click on deactivate component okay so it will help me and once it will be finalized i can simply again click on that so that it will that circuit will again activate okay next is this simulation now once you are satisfied with your design and uh, circuit design and components and all values have been satisfactory then you can go with the simulation option and then automatically a window will open and it will start okay next is tuning now this tuning is important like uh, in other tools in other eda tools so what will happen other cad or eda tools what will happen you have to set up some optimization and all and real time tuning that real time changes in the result that you can't see in that so with this option of tuning just you can what you can do suppose i'm having a range of suppose a length is there okay so length range i'll set to one to five and one to five i can vary that range and simultaneously i'm able to see the graph also whether it is improvising or not like that so that is possible with the help of tuning option okay next is to go for optimize just like in case of other uh, softwares as well like uh, you have to optimize some parameter and all that you can see and this is the result window you can say uh, or you can say as a data display window so i'll say as a result window also because a blank window will open and in that you can plot n number of your results either it is your uh, rectangular plot for s11 s21 anything it can be and further it can be as well smith chart and all everything it can be plot okay so these are the uh, these are the options which are available another options if you want to apply or you can say activate just right click and you can apply some of these uh, options as well like if i click on property so one property window will come similarly if i click on basic editing so this will also come 
like uh, this will these menu will also be applicable like i'll talk about like this is moving using move using reference point this you will be able to see in the layout option in much better way similarly this uh, mirror means along the x axis you have to mirror some component or circuit then you can use this similarly along the y axis if you want to remove if you want to mirror a circuit or component then you can use this option okay and these are the some more uh, options which are applicable okay so this was the basic overview of uh, your ads schematic window and what are the necessary options which are available in that okay so another options are available on that so based on the designing part one by one we will see some necessary operations and necessary task okay 